His name is Pat, and he buys crap every Saturday and Sunday. You'll know where he's at. Take a guess, it's Flea Market Madness. Oh, yes, it's Flea Market Madness. And me, Frank. Welcome to another Flea Market Madness. Today, I'll be joined by my buddy, Roger. We start off with a box of Legos. How much are your Legos, sir? Uh, 30, bro. 30? If this was 2010, these wouldn't be selling for that much, nor would anyone even really care. But nowadays, Lego toys are hot, and sellers know it. Some have even become exclusive Lego resellers. Spare pieces are usually bagged, weighed, and then sold by the pound. Like you're buying lunch meat. Here's a bunch of different toys. Hey, check out that plush elf. There's Star Wars toys, and even some strawberry shortcake items. My sister had all the original strawberry shortcake dolls except for sour grapes, which is one of the ones on the table. For her birthday one year, I ended up buying it complete in box. Oh, what a nice brother I am. How much are the figures? Two dollars each for Star Wars figures? Oh yeah, I can get behind that. Got him. Uh, I got most of the Ewoks. I don't think I have Greedo. Oh, R5-D4, I don't have him. Here's a Commodore cassette player in the box. Nice! They're yeah, the Bushwhackers, Demolition. Ah, Wrestling and He-Man figures. I clicked these guys a little bit, but I'm more interested in the original LGN WWF figures from the 80s. Heads up, the first video games of the day! How much are your games? Games, yeah. Seven. Seven. The Punisher? Punisher's decent. There's Booger Man. Booger Man for the Genesis. I don't have that one. And there's a Punisher, which I do have, but it has the manual. All right. Oh, I have uh, three of them now, and I had them on uh, eBay, and they pulled them all. They pulled what? All my Gyromites with the converters. Why did they pull them? They said they were like for, uh, you know, pirating and stuff. Really? Like, really? Yeah. That's not what it's even close. Pulled them all. I think someone got upset because I undercut <clears throat> everybody. Else. On the price? Everyone. That's ridiculous. Okay. I do both for uh, 12. Okay. Gotta make and there's Batman forever. It's a forever bad. Yes. Samba de Amigos. What have we here? Not one, but two Samba de Amigo Maraca sets for the Dreamcast. There's no games here, but really, who cares? Uh, see, that's the problem. I'm not a huge expert on it. <laughs> Look at this blow up Samba de Amigo hat there. <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever. How much for the uh, Amigo? Uh, uh, 20 bucks a piece. 20 bucks a piece. Yeah, that's not bad. Would you do 30 for Yeah, go ahead. You want to do that and get one each? Probably. Okay. What do you do on the Game Boy games? Uh oh. You can have all 20 bucks. Woo! That's I, a steal. I can. There's three Game Boy games here. Pinball Dreams, which I have my eye on, Space Invaders, and Centipede slash Millipede. I'm only interested in the one, actually. How much would you give me for the one? Five. Five? You don't want the other two? No. Say, how, about, sure how about ten? Eleven. Now he's coming down to eleven bucks for all three. Yeah, why not? So, what are you asking on the Genesis and this? Fifty bucks total. This is, all, this is the box for it. Fifty dollars isn't bad at all if you have the AC adapter for the CD unit, since they can be pricey. But the box is just for the console itself. It's too bad. It is nice. Yep, yep. Alright, thanks for showing me that. No, no games for it? Uh, there's a game in it. Open this one. Let's see what you got. Prize Fighter, all right. Uh, and, and, and then I think there's 40 games built in. Is that right? Is there 40 no. games in? No, there is. They, they make newer ones where they build it and oh, license okay, the okay, games, okay. but... Well, I, I never played it. Not guilty. Don't all right. Control. It's all there. Oh, How much are your N64 games? Which one? Depends. Uh, what are you doing on Mario Party 3? Mario Party 3, I'm asking 10 on that. 10 on that? Yeah. What about for the Mario Kart? Mario Kart? I'll do 5 on that one. Whoa, I've stumbled across N64 games for cheap. Mario Kart for five and Mario Party three for 10? This is Twilight Flea Market Zone today. I'm gonna pick up several, a couple that I don't have, one that's a label upgrade, Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, and a few that, yeah, I might sell at a convention, pass along the savings. Uh, pass free selling? Yeah, maybe a little. Better me than Wario. I think I'll also pick up this N64 Aqua Controller. And why not, Dr. Mario, come here. What's there right there, man? Oh, that's, that's a controller for the uh, the Dreamcast. So 
we brought some singles. <laughs> I brought money. I'll give well, you. well, I already went to that. To the, I went to the ATM. I'm just about tapped yeah, out no, today on no, cash. No, so Frank before had offered to lend me some money. Oh, I would have gave you like forty money, um, but then I needed it back today because that's my money. For well, I have I have twenties at home, but what city did you get? Steve Miller Band Number Five, Winwood's Greatest Hits, and uh, Dylan Nashville Skyline. It's this swap or? Anything can happen, day. You want to do the? We'll do these rows. I want to do that one first. All right. Oh. Your girlfriend. I don't want to bother. You're afraid of getting knifed. No, I, I just. I'm teasing Frank here about a cute seller that he really likes. I feel like I'm bothering her. I mean, she knows why I'm talking to her. Hey, Frank, how about this team up? Spider-Man and Moon Knight. That's a cool Moon one. Moon Knight is kind of cool, yeah. yeah. Power Ranger. How much is the uh, the robot? Twenty-five. 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 <laughs> Time Life Music presents Smooth Jazz. Ooh, awful. Awful stuff. Where were we at yesterday, man? We had the guy over there for a dollar. How much on the games? Uh, the Zega? Yeah. Oh, five each? Five each. And the, and the Super? Super, I think. Super. What about for this guy? Same price. Five. Game Boy printer. I've come across these several times, but always seem to pass them up for some weird reason. This is a Lego Mindstorm, a programmable Lego set that you can hook up to your PC. Uh, 50 bucks. 50? I guess you're getting to walk around. <laughs> oh, and there he goes. He's going to hold on to the item. This happens more often than you'd like with storage unit sellers. After you express interest in an item, they feel that it could be something more valuable, and then they'll take it away for their specialty buyers or to throw it online and see what it goes for. <sighs> These are $3? Yeah. Here's some 360 games. Three dollars for Left 4 Dead? Am I actually going to buy an Xbox 360 game at the flea market? <gasps> what? How much for the uh, Dreamcast? Uh, 20. 20? Another Samba de Amigo Maracas controller? What? I don't see the Maracas out here for about four years and now I find three in one day? Uh, that's, that's the swap meet. There's a Highlander TV series DVD set sealed! But I'm looking at some PS2 games that I did a horrible job trying to film. I thought I was going to get stopped by the cops this morning. Why? Well, I rolled up to that four-way on Lamont and Kemper. I almost did a roll through with a cop uh -oh. right there. So I stopped. Hold on and a second. I was sort of like waiting for him, and he goes, come on, just go. Ah, you didn't want to deal with you in the morning. Just go. Because you saw me, you're like, oh, get come on. Get out of here, you knucklehead. Whoa, a big tub full of video games and consoles. Nice, he has a box Super Nintendo console as well as an SNES mini system. What do you ask on the Super Nintendo? Uh, 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Does it have everything in? Never been open. Never been open. Uh, I doubt that. What about for this little one here? 15 bucks. 15? Uh, you have the games here too? Let's see. There's a Super Nintendo ASCII controller, an NES console, Super Nintendo games, N64 games. I'm gonna go through this stuff. Oh, and you got some uh, old Atari stuff. I don't need nor want everything, though. He wants to try to sell me an NES console and games, but it does really interest me, and really, I do have enough of them right now. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Nintendo's there. There's a guy here who's interested in some of it, and I'll let him have it. You know, like Nelly Furtado? No. Bjork? I can't think of, I mean, out of all the movies in the world that I'd want to see, you know, I can probably think of a million and a half before I would get to Gulliver's Travels with Jack Black. I, I, I don't think I would run out of movies because they're still making more. I mean, could you even find a movie here that you'd rather not watch than Gulliver's Travels? <laughs> probably I'm not. Sure. I mean, you'd rather go through every Van Damme movie twice before you get. Cool. You'd rather watch Desert Heat with Van this Damme. This was very. Incredible Hulk with the Fantastic Four. Frank's interested in a Fantastic Four slash Incredible Hulk board game, but it's missing the Human Torch piece. Yeah, you're missing. You're missing the. I think one of the uh, pieces, at least. Uh, we can make a human torch. Yeah, uh, I uh, <laughs> trying to sell something incomplete. How dare she? Nice <laughs> Sixty dollars for everything new. Oh wow. You have the system for this? Or no? No, I. You have that one. Yeah. Okay. Would you be on one part with just the box or no? I'm trying to negotiate a deal for a slim PS2 box without the console, but the seller wants to keep it to go with the fat PS2 console she's trying to sell. That's the bigger one though, but all right. It's a, it's a different size one, all right. 
Oh, that's interesting. A little bowl? You know I love these things. I, I might need one for my keys. I don't even have one. I think it was on the five, the five table. It was right, right here. Okay, I'm gonna probably get going then maybe. Okay. Because I gotta go return this cable and then I gotta go pick up my other crap for three bucks to recharge my phone. It doesn't work. I got it from over there. Well, if there's any trouble, I'll call you. Come beat the shit out of him for me. He's gonna look at you like, what? That does it for another flea market madness. Bye.